Hello guys, Almost Addicted here. I knew when I started this project, I needed a lot of time, a lot of patience, a lot of world edit, and a, a lot of world edit, okay? Quite a bit. Because it's such a huge build, I thought I would do a more simple design because, believe it or not, this sort of design is pretty simple to me. Oh, shut up! What? This design's very simple to me, which I'm so beast. <laughs> I, d I didn't. I didn't say that. <laughs> say that. Anyways, this project did take three hours, with a few breaks in between for coffee and all that. I'm going to be breaking down and showing you how I managed to build this. Okay? And you can build this Japanese castle. This is a Japanese castle tutorial, people. This will be slow enough for you all to get the dimensions to build it, and you will learn techniques on how you would build something like this on your very, very own. I've done a few Japanese houses so far, so I will link them down in the description for you. Slap a huge like on this video. It really helps me out more than you know. It's, it's like a smile, okay? If you want a download for this build, all my builds on the channel, or all my builds on my channel even, you can become a Patreon and get all my content all the content you ask for, I will give you all the download links, everything. I will link my Patreon down in the description. It really does help support this channel. Plus, you get loads of builds and downloads to use in your servers or your worlds without any work needed. So, that's pretty good. So, let's start, shall we? Okay, people, grab your popcorn. We're going to start off with a nice little Japanese tree. Now, you can do your trees however you like, but I'm just showing you a few examples of trees that maybe you could do. Now, this is kind of like an oak tree style, but it's a blossom tree. So, as you can see, I'm just sprouting it out at all different angles. You can look at pictures of trees on Google. And then I just added some pink wool. Now, you can use pink wool. You can use glass or something like that. You don't even have to use the trees at all. This is just an example for some people who want to know what a blossom tree is tree looks like or how you would go and make one I'm not really experienced in trees but here you go here's like a blossom tree that you can maybe use and you can maybe put like a little swing set going down from your tree as well so I've got quite a lot of information tips and tricks for everybody and um, to follow along but yeah as I say if you want the downloads make sure you, you um, become a patreon and you'll get all the downloads free so as you can see I'm doing a little circle bush so it's just like a simple bush maybe you could do oh I can't breathe Maybe you could do a tree like this that kind of like overhangs and then it's got like little branches in different areas like maybe it could poke out like that as you can see just little branches poking out like that. It's got that Japanese sort of Chinese feel to it so uh, yeah it's definitely something that you could probably incorporate into one of your builds. Now what I did with here I got the stone brick and I did 61 by 61 square. Now it's huge this house so obviously you could just take inspiration from it. I did 5 high and just filled it all in so you could do it hollow obviously and now round the outside of it it's got a two block gap and I raised this up by five so as you can see it's just pyramiding it up right so now we've got two gaps along the side so you should be able to walk along the side and there should be two gaps now all the way around I got some spruce and this is a spruce stairs going all the way around just filled it in with the grass we've got a nice base of our castle pyramid or a Chinese temple, whatever you want to call it. Now, down the side here, at the side, I've got a three gap. Now, in this gap in the middle here, I think there's about seven or nine. It doesn't really matter. So, we're just going to basically bring these stairs down. Eventually, it's just like one, one, one di going diagonal up, as you can see here. So, I'll just fill it all in. It's just a huge stair set going down. It doesn't have to be like this. You can change your stair set. That's the beauty of this build. I'm giving you inspiration to build your very own. Now, I'm using the oak stairs going all the way up, as you can see. Just super easy stair set. Now, uh, around the outside of it, I'd filled it in with some stone brick again. And then around here, I just, I think it's about nine. I did 11 by 11 square here with a little box of grass on it. Now, this is just so you can add trees and stuff. You can obviously add whatever you like, but that's just kind of a little thing there. So now here, we're 
raising it up 11 high and as you can see I've got two um, pieces of wood at the side and then where the doorway is you can obviously just look at it and then just go right this is where I do it now I'm using a half slab going all the way around I'm going down a little bit more so another half slab and then I'm using the stairs facing out like that going all the way around like this so that's three so far three layers and then we're gonna go for a fourth layer just curling it up like a pyramid fifth layer sixth layer like this seven you guessed it, 8, and then we go on to 9, 10, I think I've got some spruce now, and fill it in with the spruce. As you can see, we've got a nice pyramid shape going on. Now, I did a little gap here, 3x3 three three in the spruce here, so um, I've got the oak logs going down from here. So we've got a nice little bit of a walkway going down from there, and then I just kind of filled it up 11 high now, and just boxing it all off, just 11 high, all with the oak wood. Now you can do it as high as you like, it doesn't have to be this height, so don't get um, bogged down with like the dimensions too much. You can do whatever you like with it, um, so hopefully you get inspiration from it. Now at one, two sides, the front, um, the left and the right hand side, we're just gonna bring these stairs, going stair under, stair under, two thickness in the stone brick stairs. Now, as you can see, it joins onto the smaller part of the roof, as you can see. And what I do is I actually get some slabs so it comes down as well, so it kind of looks like it gives the roof a little bit more uh, design and pattern. But obviously, this is quite a basic uh, build. You can add so much more detail to it, but just take inspiration from it at the very least. And um, now I've got a little five gap here. There's five gaps in between. As you can see, I'm doing it at the front and the back now, as you can see. I didn't raise it up this high, I wanted a smaller roof on this side. So I'll go back to this side and I'll show you what I mean, right? So we're going to have two two gaps and then a three gap in the doorway and then two gaps on, on top like that. And basically I wanted two small roofs at uh, the front and the back and I wanted two large roofs at the left and the right hand side. As you can see I'm just doing stair under. Don't bother yourself about the height. Now height wise for this bit I'm just doing it so as you can see it just reaches the very top of the biggest roof and it just kind of slots in there. Just going all the way around like this. So we're, we're just doing the basic box design. So once you've got your basic box design, you can fill in whatever patterns you feel looks good or whatever windows. But I'm going to stick with something quite simple. So we're bringing the roof so it goes straight into the side of those walls, as you can see there. Now at the front here, you can decide to add some logs to it. Maybe you want to double thickness the roof even more. So you've just got a bit more of that pattern. You can do it at the front and back. So whatever I do at one side, I'm doing it on the other side. So maybe you could put some oak across like this and maybe you could put some spruce across the bottom now I pull this out by three so you see these logs on each corner one two three one two three one two three one two three and I wanted a walkway so this walkway is going all the way around I'm just using some of the oak going all the way around and then just filling all the gaps so as you can see it's just one facing out from the three that we've just done run some oak fence going around it two times for this one and then we're on to the next stage so I brought this up by nine this time I'm using quite a lot of the golden ratio numbers like 11 and 9 and stuff like that just so it looks more authentically pleasing you know it's uh, the the beauty of intellectual architecture I'm sure of it I promise you look into it right so at the side here what I'm doing is counting one two three four five diagonal from each point and it's just below on the first block we're going round once and we're going around two times and then we're gonna go around a third time four times five times it should be just over the logs that we've just placed now and then we are going to go on to six and then seven I think it's seven Oh no, then for this part we're just using stairs, so at the front and side we're going to go stair under, stair under and bring it up like this. Now this is at the front, so these arches will be at the front, so if you look at the bottom, that's where the smaller roofs are. We're going to do the same here, just fill all that roof in. As you can see, it's just a simple roof. If you don't know how to build a roof like that, um, then there's no hope for you, I'm sorry. Right, so now we're on to this next stage. As you can see, I'm just having three gaps in between each one of these, and then we're just basically doing what we've done on the smaller roof, but just on a bigger level. So it's got those big thick lines. Now I thought, bring these oak panels going up just to support the top of the roof, and then we'll go on to this bottom part here. 
Now, the way I build this is why I've built it in a fast motion. I build kind of kind of all over the place when I'm in creative. So I could never do a block for block tutorial on this. It would take far too long and I don't know how to recreate it again. I was just had the replay mod on. So I thought, why not do a bonus video on something like this and then people who are supporting me on Patreon, I'll just give them the download. And so as you can see, I'm just bringing this roof to join in and then as you can see, I'm just bringing some more half slabs going down just to add a little bit of design into the roof, a little bit of extra patterns. Now at the side here, you can't see what I'm doing at the moment, but obviously I'm doing it at the big side and we're going to go around here and I'll show you. So we're going to get some oak going all the way around with the fence. And this is just kind of like a little balcony. And then we're going to get some of the oak fence, just join it up like that. And it's just like a little balcony at this side, super easy. Now we're using the oak going all the way around with uh, some of this. It's just so you get ideas, tips and tricks of what you can do. It's quite a simple design, but at the end of the day, it just shows if you do it on a big scale, quite a simple design can look quite good. So obviously I'm using the fence going all the way around in the oak. And then we're going to go on to the next step. Now I thought about adding some designing like this. So it's like three up and then one diagonal three up like that. Add some black wool behind it to make it look like it's got a bit of depth. And then onto the stage. So I just added some dirt blocks, got some trap doors, added them on like this and then I just done some simple design so I've got one gap either side there and then as you can see I'm doing the other side and then this side panel here I just decided to do the simple sort of Japanese sort of um, white wool and um, some oak logs just to make those groove designs and as you can see it's really simple but it does work and especially when you're looking at such a big build from a distance like this it just shows like if you don't know what to do for adding detail just add a load of oak logs going down in a line and then add some white wool in there and it really just gives it that oriental authentic look so yeah top level I'm running it all the way around and then I've got five gaps at the left hand side and the right hand side and this is just exactly the same on all sides so now we're running it round again and as you can see, when I fill in the white wool, you'll be able to see exactly where I'm putting them. And so in the middle, obviously, we're going to have a doorway there. So I had a three gap in the middle. Either side of the, uh, the doorway, there should be two gaps and then five gaps in the middle. As you can see, filling in the wool there, filling in the wool at the top. And there should be another level at the top that you can't see. But yeah, you fill in the wool up there. And as you can see, I put some spruce along the five bits with some white wool going all the way around it like that. And then the two bit gaps at the doorway I actually put some stairs in there to fill it with design at the top here I'm putting some stairs going over the top of the five um, gap like window areas and then across the top of the doorway I'm just getting some normal uh, stone brick and just filling it all in so as you can see that's really easy super simple and then on this bottom layer I thought it was a bit kind of simple so underneath our actual walkway I'm just going to put some upside down stairs and some stairs going down joining into the smaller roof now here you could fill it in totally blank or what you could do is you can add some windows in so um you can put your windows wherever you like. I'll give you a small example. So you can leave it plain like that. Still looks good, doesn't it? It's not that bad. But you could just add two gap windows. Put some spruce there with some trapdoors on top. It's a simple window. It looks really, really nice. And then you could just build it, bring out some of the oak logs at the side here, as you can see there. And then just on these smaller roofs, you can add more detail by adding some of the um, fences in there. You can add some more kind of... Um, stone stair things i don't know what i mean right so here as well on the bottom level you can just do exactly the same so just run it all the way around here we've obviously got our doorway there we could maybe do a doorway so we could do whatever now we could have five gaps we've got five gaps in between each one of these maybe you could just bring oak logs up on the right hand side making smaller windows and then on the middle we could do like the five gap windows so something like this do you know what i mean you should be able to just look at stuff like this it's going slow enough you can pause the video and um, to be able to do it there's three gaps in between that window now here we're just getting half slabs going slab under slab under and then just fill it in with the white wool. Maybe put another little kind of archway for the doorway. Super easy like that. And um, I don't actually do the interior, but I'll show you what I do to the interior to make it look like it's, uh, you can see it from the outside. It looks like it's got a lot of depth. Uh, you just add black wool behind it. As you can see, five gaps in between each one of these. We've got a first row at the top with a little bit of wool, second row at the top, and then we can just have the, the bottom bit with our windows. Now for the windows, 
put across the bottom, maybe put some spruce or something like that, and then across the top of it, put some trapdoors going across, and it just looks like little Japanese shutter windows. Obviously, you could just stick um, some kind of like fence in the windows as well. That could make it look more Japanesey. But as you can see, it's a really simple design. But you can change it about it doesn't have to be like this so you can do whatever you like and um, but yeah as you can see it's really easy really super simple and as you can see I've just added in the black wool behind there it looks like it's kind of dark on the inside it gives it that deep recess so yeah so on to this bit of the tutorial where we are going to actually just fill in the top part the top part of the triangle and um, as you can see on the inside I'm just filling it with some black and um, just basic lines at the top maybe you could do something like that maybe you could add some more windows if you'd like and then we're going to put another row and then another row five gaps in between each one of the windows now you can alternate you can change them about obviously i'm doing it on the the front side and the back side as well and as you can see just a couple of lines here and there really does make the difference i'm sure you guys know how to make a couple of lines in the oak fence i'm sorry if i'm catering to quite a few people here but i know there's quite a few people who can just actually look at this and um, by what i'm showing you and you guys can implement it no problem at all but there is a lot of people that do struggle and i do have to explain a little bit more so i do apologize um, but yeah, as you can see, super easy. You could run some bush going around here. I thought it was a little bit simple across the bottom. So you can maybe add an archway at the front there. So it's kind of like a bit more of the castle gates or something like that. And then just add the trees that we made at the front. Super simple. Hopefully you guys got some inspiration from this. And uh, I wasn't going to do a tutorial on this. I thought I'd do something a little bit like this just to give people inspiration at the very least. Um, but yeah, hopefully you liked the video enough to slap a like on the video. I do apologize if you don't like these faster tutorials but at the end of the day just think of it you wouldn't have got this video otherwise you know quite a lot of people give me grief for actually doing it faster and not doing it slower but you've got to realize I spend hours and hours doing these builds I really do work very very hard and sometimes I, c I can't talk for like five hours straight um, especially when I'm, I'm working on my videos trying to get a video out each day because YouTube's not really favoring me out very well at the moment and if I did a lot of long tutorials then nobody would ever see my videos so I'm really trying to give you guys different content hopefully you don't hate me for it and hopefully you just appreciate the fact that I'm giving you inspiration and you can maybe take it and uh, use it and implement it into your own world that's really what I want to do I just want to inspire people and uh, I don't need negativity and hate and stuff like that. I'm trying to I'm trying to be positive and trying to um, spread something positive and give people creative ideas, you know. And um, so hopefully you don't hate me for that. Hopefully you got something from the video at the very least. I'm sorry if um, you can't figure it out or something like that. But there is a pause button. There is a slow down feature. If you've got any questions, you can always get me on Twitter, and I'll, I'm happy to explain them to you. If you want the dimensions for certain things. I will do my best. I do try to talk to everybody. I do try to, try to reply, but obviously I'm one person. I can't do everything, you know. Uh, but hopefully uh, you enjoyed the video enough, and I shall catch you in the next video. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you want to see next. Um, I'm trying to give uh, this channel a little bit of diversity. I know there's quite a lot of channels out there that don't do videos like this anymore. They don't show people how they would go about this. So I thought I'd at least show people how someone would build this. This is my very first Japanese castle. I've never built anything like this. So I'm just kind of learning myself. So this is all freestyle. I'm just going with the flow of things. And uh, that's how I build. So hopefully you got something from it. Catch you in the next video. Almost addicted. Signing out. Peace. Wow, that was long.